Worldwide Productions presents The Schoolgirl. Soon it's time for some fun. You're still up reading. Now get to bed, you little buttworm. But unless you want to stuff it up and up and I'll teach you a thing or two. You listen here, my dear, your daughter so severely upset. A lying and cry, it was W stay out of trouble and I'm extremely careful. Why? Why didn't you hear what we said? Just you wait for Fizz Ed! What Fizz Ed? Physical education. Entrenchable speciality. Attention all students, everyone should report to their classrooms immediately. Get there in five, four, three, two, one. Hello class, I'm Miss Honey and I'm going to be your kindergarten teacher today. Today we are going 
to be reading books. This annual chapter is one. And does anyone know what a chapter is? Yes, who are you? Matilda. Well, I'm sorry, Matilda, but there's no tablets allowed in school. Let me just take that from you. Wait, is this a Kindle? Yes. Matilda, do you already know how to read? Yes. Really? Yes. What books have you read already? Oh. The books I read this week are Crime and Punishment, Mice and Men, Moby Dick, Harry Potter, Harry Potters. And what are you reading right now, may I ask? Crime and Punishment. Matilda, the books you read. It seems like you're already ready to go with the 11th graders. You should talk about Miss Trunchbull like that. I don't think you understand Miss Trunchbull, but I'll try. Now, please go back to your seats. Now or Enter! What do you need from me? Hello, Miss Trunchbull. I've come Hello. to you about one of my students, Matilda Wormwood. Yes, I know her. Her dad called me and told her. And told me what she is. She's a nasty worm. She is nasty. But Miss Trunchbull, the Matilda is amazing. She's amazing at literature and the books she's she's read. In fact, I've had a hard time reading them myself. It is my belief that she should be placed but at the top form with the 11 year olds immediately. But Jenny, what about the rules? I believe she is an exception to the rules. Well, school was a bit in depth, but Miss Honey is pretty nice. I'm home! Oh, great. A little brat, home. You know the drill. Get to bed. But wait, don't you want to hear about my first day? I'd rather eat vegetables. Now get to bed already. Don't you rather want to be a parent than being stupid? people like you. Hello, Miss Wormwood. You called me here? Did you really just give money to my daughter? I gave her money to buy books. She is an amazing. Amazing? Do you think that child is amazing? She is nothing of the sort and never has been. Get to bed, you little worm. I am in bed. No, not the big bed. I'm at the box. But I have a normal bed. And well, you don't deserve a normal bed. I bought this for myself, so I deserve it. 
now get in the box now or taking you out of school. I won't go. You're not going to go to school? You don't want to ever see Miss Honey again? I do, but you'll impact a little dumb one. Get into your box now. Yeah, but I hate the transport, but you will be the worst that. I assure you, we're no better than the transport. I know better, because she's meaner. Now just get in the box and good night. Get up, you little one. You're late for... Where are you? Oh, you're there reading the stupid box. Ugh. So we're not going to have any of this anytime soon. Now get out. I don't want to see you until school ends. Good morning, class, and welcome to the fourth day of kindergarten. We're almost at a week. Are you guys excited? I know I am. Today, we're going to be reading... Babysitter's little sister, number one, Karen Twitch. Now, has anyone already read the Babysitter's Club? Really? Only you, Matilda? I'm reading it right here on my, on this Kindle. Really? And have you read all the books? Good morning. Well, not all, but most. Well. I'm sure you'll be excited to read Baby Sidney's Little Sister then. I'm reading it on here right now. Oh, well then, just don't give it away. Okay. All right, let's I've start. already read it more than once. All right, start reading. First, I need my reading glasses. Baby Sidney's Little Sister. Karen Brewer. Chapter one. Um, my name is Karen Brewer. I'm six going on seven years old, and I think I'm very lucky. Good job, class. You did very good reading, and now you have earned your recess. Follow me. All right, I have to go inside, but there are other teachers watching you out here, okay? Hey, kindergartner. Have you ever been sent to Chokey yet? Which Chokey? There's a place you are sent if you haven't been good and it's made of spice and wood and it is a quiet enough to sit and even if you could there are nails on the bottom I'm sorry you wish you just when the hinges creak and the door is closed you could not be squashed at the end of your nose and when you scream you start to up or the scream in your head even reach your mouth Today we're going to be having a special time um, outside. We are going to Fizz Ed with Miss Trunchbull. No, 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 no. It's no, okay, it's okay. Everyone settle down. It's going to be okay as long as you stay on the, your best behavior, then she won't have anything to get mad at. And uh, Matilda, I advise you not to bring this Kindle. We don't want her taking it away now, do we? No. Good. Now everyone follow me. All right, class, this is where I, ha I can't take you anymore. But Miss Trunchbull will be um, handling you from now on. So, Miss Honey's class, enter. I'll take it from here, Jenny. Come along, maggots. Follow me, Squitch. And so you think I'm gonna win? Well, I am gonna win. You think you're winning? You're not. And 
any farther than me, I'm much farther than you. And you can't get past me when I've got friends. And it's not that you're fighting through what I can tell you on the feeding epic thing. And you'll find everything for the transport to do. And I am the tallest of all. And get me what I deserve. You never deserve what you ever wanted in your life. Too hard, too hard. Oh. That's what I thought, you maggot. And hello, Miss Trunchbull. I have come to take my kids back. Yes. Go in. Go and take them. All right, kids. How was visit? Miss Honey, you don't have to wear. Miss Honey. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Miss Honey is much better than me. Calm down. Not all of us are good at phys ed on the first week. My next class, I'm sure you'll be better. Let's get back to the classroom now. All right, kids. I think you all did very good at phys ed. Now it's time for you to go home. But next week, we will have to go for a little spelling bee in at Miss Trunchbull's room, okay? No, 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 you, no, guys, no. guys, if you did this, this ad, I'm sure you'll do good. Just remember to study your words, okay? Okay. Oh, this is Chunky. Tomorrow's the last day. Yes, Matilda? It's my last day here. My parents are moving to Spain, but my dad's selling an electrocuted car to, to Miss Trunchbull, and she figured out that my my dad was, was that, that they didn't work, that they were not, that they were used a lot, even though she makes it look like they were used a lot. Oh dear, Matilda. We really are going to miss you, aren't we, children? Yes. All right, well, I'm, I, I want you to have the best last day, but I'm afraid I can't change the schedule. Everyone line up behind me, and we have to go to Miss Trunchbull's room for the spelling bee. Come in. All right, class, follow me. Hello, Miss Trunchbull. We're here for the spelling bee. Yes. Let your children take their seats. New. Spell newt. Newt. N-E-W-T. Newt. Who taught you that? I bet your parents didn't. Miss Honey taught us. She's very good at teaching. Miss Honey, she's not good. She can't be good at anything. She's too pity it trying to understand anything to be mean and be hard on the little ones. What are you going to do? Your chokey's destroyed. Well, here's a surprise chokey. <gasps> well, I'm going to scare you away.
credits. Penny Chirtland, Matilda, Miss Trunchbull, Nina, and Jail Kid. Caitlin Lee, Mom, Dad, Miss Honey, and Big Kid. The end.